to the 2021 Gold Achievement Gala interview with Girl Scout Troop 2508. My name is Stacey Bell, and I am honored to be interviewing these six young women that have made an incredible impact on our community. Annabelle, what was your greatest takeaway from the work you did to obtain your Gold Award? I think one of my greatest takeaways from my work with our Gold Award project has been the value of patience and understanding. Uh, while completely worth it, working with these young girls had its challenges, its ups and downs uh, that were always new and surprising, which I think has improved my leadership skills. Those leadership skills that were fostered within Girl Scouts, both at a young age within my own troop and then later on with my sister's troop and now with Grand Street, uh, I think have just kind of uh, shadowed and kind of helped me in my own life and my own day to day. Carly, through your Gold Award project, you went from being a Girl Scout to essentially becoming a troop leader. What are some of the key differences between the two roles? When you go from being someone in a troop to being someone who's leading a troop, you really realize how much goes on behind the scenes, um, how much preparation goes into every project you do, like how much planning there really is to make each experience so valuable for every troop member. Um, and I think I speak for everyone when I say that being a leader of this younger troop of girls has given me an even deeper appreciation for my own troop leaders, because I know that um, for nine years, 10 years, that they were full-time troop leaders of us. There was so much that went into that and so much planning and so much commitment. I definitely think that the work that we've all done in this Gold Award project is my greatest accomplishment towards making the world and my community a better place because creating a space and a curriculum that would really engage these girls that we otherwise might not have encountered or gotten so close to was a huge moment for me and I hope for them. Maddie, how do you think the process that it took for you to earn your gold award will help you in your future career? I think the hard work, dedication, as well as like adaptability that I learned from this project will carry over into my career, as well as anybody else's. The hard work, dedication came in from like planning and working with this troop for three years. And I think a lot of another good skill we learned was just responsibility and maturity. Like we had to kind of become the adults of this own troop. So I definitely think this maturity responsibility will definitely carry over into my future. What is your fondest memory of your Girl Scout Gold Award project? We planned for so long, we worked so hard uh, to do this Gold Award project. And so when it came down to executing it actually and just going to the meetings and running them, it was just great to see the girls bond, problem solve, and also um, just learn more about each other. Stepping outside of your comfort zone can be very scary, but worth it in the end. Can you tell me about a time Girl Scouting help you challenge yourself or your comfort level? I feel like being a Girl Scout helped me generally challenge and elevate my character. Um, I was always a very reserved child. I had to be like handheld through a lot of things by my parents. Um, so something as simple as, you know, being on the street and selling cookies to strangers and having to entice them and give them a whole like, you know, product review on what I'm trying to sell to them. Something as simple as that helped me broaden my capabilities as a woman going to, you know, into corporate America eventually. Um, it also helped me learn the art of fundraising, networking, and sisterhood. I think it helped me grow from being a timid girl into just a general, generally more confident woman. I'm more confident in my voice, my actions, my general self, and it's prepared me for what's to come next. I can see that they definitely don't need to hold your hand any longer. They may want to, but I can see that they've let go and you've learned to go on your own. That's great, Sydney. What is your favorite part about being a Girl Scout? Definitely the trips and activities that we do. I've done so many things that I would have been doing or would have done if it weren't for Girl Scouts from canoeing to building a playground to running a troop. And I think it's taught me the importance of, um, of stepping outside of your comfort zone. 
My favorite part about being a Girl Scout is being able to get involved in our community, like Joe said, from building a playground to working with a younger group of girls and even getting involved in our own school community and sharing Girl Scouts with them. I've also enjoyed like growing up with the rest of my troop members since first grade up until senior year this year. I think my favorite part has been being able to really grow as a leader within Girl Scouts and being able to translate that to school, to extracurriculars, to sports, to whatever it may be. But I think really growing as a leader and alongside these girls. Getting to become so close with my fellow Girl Scouts has been such an honor and having this really special bond between us. My favorite part about being a Girl Scout is definitely fostering this bond that I've created with our troop as well as the women that lead our troop and that we've met along the way. Um, I also prioritize and value having like an outlet of joy outside of like the hectic school life. I think my favorite part about being a Girl Scout is seeing the progression of our years together and how much we've grown and how Girl Scouts has gone from doing little activities as a troop in first grade to running our own troop in high school and it's just really cool how much we've grown. Annabelle, Carly, Jordana, Maddie, Mele, and Sydney, I am so proud of what you were able to accomplish through your gold award project. I know that you all started off together as Daisy and Brownie Scouts and that every step of the way prepared you for what you were going to do as far as your gold award. The girls that you served at the Grand Street Settlement will remember those experiences. They'll remember the time with you, I think, for the rest of, of their lives. I found that when girls are involved in Girl Scouting, I, I can spot it. I, I know who those girls are. Those are the girls that are not afraid to step up. Those are the girls who are not afraid to lead. Those are the girls who are not afraid to challenge. And I think that that's who all of you are. Remember that once a Girl Scout, always a Girl Scout. <laughs>